Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm working on this V-twin Briggs and Stratton motor. And what's the problem with this one is they try to start it and it locks up. So. Three things could be wrong with it. The battery could be weak, the starter's bad, or the valve's out of adjustment. The first thing we do is we check the battery. So I got this uh, battery analyzer. It's made by King Bolin. It's a BM550. Pretty good unit. Pretty small, fits it right in your hand perfectly. It's a nice little uh, rubber grommet right here. It's nice little flexible so it doesn't break your wire for over, over time. Same right here. It looks pretty good, pretty heavy duty. Really, really good spring in the clamp. Plus it's got the extra grip inside here to grab the poles of the battery. Same as the negative one there right here. That looks pretty good, pretty heavy duty. I like it. It's good for a six to 12 to 24 volt battery. So if you hook up your battery in the wrong way, it's battery protection in here, it won't blow it up. So it's got all the voltage protection. Too. So if you hook it up to a 36 volt battery, it won't damage it. If it's minus 20 outside, it'll still work. It gives you the status of health, status of charge, internal resistance, and the battery voltage. For 25 bucks, this is pretty good. I'll post an Amazon link in the, in the description below. Check that out. Uh, I charge the battery for about two hours. So I'm gonna take my meter and I'm gonna check the voltage right here. So it's 12.78. Uh, it should power up when we hook it up to the battery. That's a nice good connection there, I like that. Well, that's good. You can see that or not. So it's flashing 12 right there, so 12 volt battery. I'm gonna press okay. So CCA, for this one here and the sticker on the battery, it says 300. So I'm gonna lower that to 300. And to test it, just press okay. Now it's blinking. So it's just down about 100 amps. It says normal, but uh, this battery's on its way out. So I knew it when I bought the tractor. And then the status of health is uh, 42, which is not 100% on its way out. And set of charge, it's, it is fully charged because I charged it for two hours. And internal resistance, so that's 0 0.013 of an ohm, so that's really low, so that says this is normal, that's okay. And 12.6 uh, volts, that's uh, what I measured on my battery, it's pretty damn close. And that's it, so this battery, I'm gonna have to change it. So this battery's a little weak, so I'm gonna hook up the uh, jumper cable to it. I'll show you what it does here. Put the brake on there, I'll turn it over, locks up. locks up again like i said before when the motor locks up like that it could be a bad battery so we don't we want to eliminate that so i did i tested it it was a little weak so i put the jumper cables there another thing is a weak starter we're going to check that out in a few minutes another thing is uh, a myth is uh, there's a decompression bump on this camshaft on these v-twins well there's none this camshaft for a single cylinder is only two lobes and there is a decompression bump right here this little thing here Bumps the exhaust valve on the compression stroke, so it reduces the compression, so it makes the motor turn over easier. But on these V-twins, there's uh, there's none of that. Yeah, the camshaft lobes have a bit of overlap, so that reduces the compression. So when the valves are out of adjustment, there's no overlap, and it makes it harder to turn over. Uh, the motor shows a little bit weak, but it actually might not be. I'm gonna change this later on in the video, just for uh, demonstration purposes, how to change it. So I'm gonna show you how to test this uh, starter, if it's any good or not. I'm gonna take these spark plugs out here. So now the spark plug's out, it turns over nice. No problem, but let's say yours don't turn over. Just spin it, spin it by hand here, then you know it's uh, free. Take a jumper cable here. This is hooked up to my car. I'm gonna put on this, this this red wire here, I'm gonna to touch it right here. When it turns over like that, your starter's good. But we're gonna check the valve there right now. 3x socket. Stroke. So that's the exhaust. Intake. And then compression. Just pass the compression, that's when you check it. TV intake might be a little, a little loose. 
So the intake, three to five thou. I'm gonna set it at 0.4. And wow, there's no, no resistance there whatsoever. 0.05 to 0.7 thou of an inch. So this is a 0.6. And a little slight resistance there, so the exhaust is good. So I'm gonna adjust the intake a little bit here. It's the same size T40 Torx. Jesus Christ. Back off the nut here quite a bit here. I'm gonna put my, uh, put my fourth hour shim here. Turn my Torx till it's uh, a little bit of resistance here, right there. Perfect right there, and slight drag. Turn my nut in. Try this again. It's too loose. I'm just going to turn this in a little bit more, see if I can. Four thousand intake. Nice light drag there, good. Six thou on the exhaust. Nice drag right there, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna tighten them up here. I'm gonna go this way to kind of react the torque of my nut. You can rotate the motor if you want, but Nice. Yeah, that's good. Clean everything in here. Now I'm some degreaser here. And from this oil at the bottom inside here, you gotta clean that. I checked the valve on the left side of this motor and it's zero way off. So now it turns over by hand off one hand. Uh, the spark plugs in. No problem. So I'm turning the key. Perfect. Now we fixed the problem, but uh, if you want to watch the video, I'm going to change the starter right now. So. so we're going to have to raise the cover off here to get into the bolts here for the starter right here. So these four bolts on this uh, cover here is 5 16 there's six bolts holding this cover, three on this side, three on this side. So I'm gonna take the filter cover off here. If these uh, won't come off, it's like they hear a snapping noise. So let's take a pair of vice grips there. Just tighten them down, take a twist off like that, it'll come right off. I got a video on here how to fix that. If you have some like that, I'll post it in the description below. There's a nut right there. Uh, that comes, you have to take that off here, right here. What's that? That's a snake, look at that. There's two nuts right here in the starter to jam the wire here. So I'm gonna turn this. If bolt nuts are turning, you're gonna have to put another wrench in the, in the back nut right here. I put my wrench on the grinder, make it a little thinner so it fits here, right here. So I put my wrench on the nut and then I'll turn that one a half a turn and it'll come right off. Yeah, you can get a regular socket on this one here, but you can't do it on that one. So these bolts here takes a T40 Torx, fits right there. And you might crack it open here. Some of these uh, Torx wrenches come with a, a, a long extension with a T on it and comes right off easier. Yeah, I got her there. It pops right off. We checked here, it's nice and clean. Spare starter from a 22 horsepower. This is the same number as this 21. See, it just fits there perfectly right there. Now, I'm gonna slide it in on this way. Let's make sure you don't cramp these wires back here. Post that up there. There, here you go. And I gotta start it there. I'm gonna go put the other one. I'm gonna start a little bit. 
and tight. Okay, nice and tight. There's, there's two guys there, right, right here and here. They go here and right here. Gonna fit. Yeah, that's good there and there. Put my bolt here. Alright, if you like this video, just put a thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel, thank you for watching.